Before I get started with this week's update, I want to mention that IANA, there's been reports, has decided to pump the brakes with the implementation schedule of their stations. They were initially targeting the summertime in order to install their first station in North America, but word is they've decided to pause that and target instead the fourth quarter of this year for their first station to be open. The reason given is they're trying to get closer to when series production of J3400 equipped cars from the members are going to start hitting the roads. So instead of deploying just CCS stations, they're going to be deploying CCS and J3400 stations. And as a result, they've decided to push back their implementation schedule until the fourth quarter of 2023. That was reported by Autoline Daily, I think yesterday. Let's go ahead and get into the data. Last week, I mentioned that this number decreased from the week previous. And once again, this number is lower than the week previous. The total number of stalls we now have in the database are 50,503. It should be noted that Electrify America has decreased. It's kind of strange that they're decreasing the number of stations in the database. They're opening new stations, but they're not putting the new stations in the database. I really don't understand what's going on with Electrify America. And maybe they've just decided to uncouple from the Alternative Fuels Data Center database. I'm not quite sure. ChargePoint also decreased the number of stations. Um, oops. Well, anyway. But um, the number of stalls increased. So what they're doing is they're just, you know, as a CPO ages, they have older stations that need to be decommissioned or they lose property rights, uh, leasing agreements, things like that. But they added 21 new stations in the past week. 7-Eleven added two, Tesla added two, uh, ChargePoint 21, and EV Connect added six. Let's go ahead and get into the data. First one is 7-Eleven. Two they added are down here, Woodland, California, and Langley, British Columbia, both four stalls. Very similar to Circle K. Next one is Tesla. They added two stations, one in Weed, California, which is in Northern California, and the other one in New Haven, Connecticut. 16 stalls and 12 stalls. Next one is ChargePoint. And I'm watching ChargePoint for any indication of multiple different builds occurring. And so far, I'm not seeing any of those. But this one right here is worth pointing out. And I'll you know, obviously leave this up here for people to uh, see the other ones. But this one right here is kind of interesting. Rhode Island apparently has deployed a Nevi station. And I pulled this up in PlugShare. There's older um, CPE 250s that would only have one stall per dispenser. Um, already at this location, um, I pull up the address and it's, it's a uh, park and ride location. But these are newer uh, ChargePoint Express Plus with uh, two stalls per station. So apparently Rhode Island deployed additional hardware and um, used Nevi funds to do so. It's actually not pictured in PlugShare, but um, it looks like this just recently opened. Actually today. Um, today is the uh, opening date there. Otherwise, it's similar types of usual suspects of car dealerships and a mixed bag of um, independent CPOs putting in charge point hardware. The next one is EV Connect, I believe. Yes, next one is EV Connect. They put in six, similarly, um, municipalities and car dealerships. This one here in Plainfield, Indiana has four stalls. So that's a little bit bigger. But that's the update for this week. I'm also watching several other CPOs to see if their activity starts to increase, specifically BP Pulse, Shell Recharge, FPL, Florida Power and Light, and a few others, but none of them have really started to pick up inertia yet. So anyway, thanks for watching.